hey this is your girl Tamara welcome back to my channel as promised we are going to be teaching a little bit about um, taking care of your makeup brushes so that you don't end up with some nasty breakouts from having dirty brushes and as you can see you know these are used up I used them um, in my makeup um tutorial that i was doing not really a tutorial but just a little bit of a talk on how i do my makeup in the morning for work so now i'm just going to show you how i clean them but there's a little bit of a secret to <clears throat> cleaning your makeup sponges and that's one of the things that i wanted to um just talk about for a little bit because uh, really and truly what you don't want is to have to soak them for too long so i decided to show you a little bit of a trick as to how you could clean them without having to soak them and what ingredients you could use to actually wash them so as you can see they're pretty dirty and i have one thing that i also use which is what i'm going to use along with the other products These ones are my own personal um, favorite brushes. You, I'm not sure if these are, are still available on um, travelstylemood.com. That is www.travelstylemood.com. But this comes in a set and it has all the brushes that you would need for your eyebrows, um, for blending, also um, for using the foundation that is you will put on your face as well and then you also have the smaller ones that you can use to blend your eyeshadows believe me it's a whole line um ladies this one is for the eyebrows as well so i have the whole set here with me um this is a part of the set as well they come in these are pink and gold and blue um rose pink gold and blue and then they do have probably have other colors as well and this is the um exfoliation um mitten that i use for my face so this i'm going to be washing as well and as i you have seen before this is the Cat catherine melandrino um blending brush that i'm going to be cleaning so all of these um these are the elf brushes all of these will be clean and i'm going to be using a secret ingredient so you ladies will have to and gentlemen you will have to watch as i do my little trick and then you will see what method i am using so first i'm going to just pour i'm just going to pour the water into the container with these brushes so let's get them all soaked up let me remove this one first because this one is battery operated and what i'm going to use is going to allow me to not have to do too much washing so i'm filling this up with water so as you can see here i'm just filling it up with water and So most of the makeup has some sort of oil in some of them. Um, some makeup is for oily skin, but as you will see that there is some residue on my hand because a lot of the makeup, most of them have a little bit of oil. Can you see that? That's the residue from the, the makeup that's on my brush. All right, so this secret ingredients is Mr. Tech. Nor technin nor peppermint mouthwatch is the original formula so this has to be diluted so you can take a look at it and i'm going to pour this into the water so look at that you see what's happening it's actually giving so you can use about a, a maybe two cups full i probably should have done that to show you you see how that is going exactly so that now allows you to take out a lot of the I I had my other brush in here 
So I added that to the water and now I'm just going to add the, the salt. Let's add the salt to this. Take a look at this. The first result. Look how clean that is, ladies and gentlemen. So that's a little secret to getting your your brush your brushes and your sponges clean without having to soak them. You just get the you can get the this one is a dilutable mouthwash, so you don't need you, you can't use the regular mouthwash you have to get the one that is supposed to be diluted and then you put that into the water so you don't have to soak them at all and then you just get to rubbing I want to get out all the makeup from even the base. See that? So you ensure that you give it a little bit of a massage to ensure that all the makeup is out. Once you rinse and you, you realize that the water is clean, it means that all the makeup is already gone. So let's just make sure that there is no, there is no, okay. I want to show that there is, make sure that there is no makeup running from it. And these, the original color is not white. So these already come with a colored tip on. See that ladies? <laughs> Look at that. See all that? See all that water? There was one still left in it. I've got. Oh wait, look at this, guys. This was literally brown, and it was still in the uh, Mr. Techno's. While I didn't realize he was washing, and look how white that is. And this one is an actually white brush. So I'm just letting you see how white that is, and it was brown. So I'm just letting you know that it does work, and it doesn't require any any soaking. I'm actually just gonna give them a good rinse to get the soap out now, guys. And I just wanted to see 
see the difference look at this soap how white it is okay so the, the sponges were literally spotless from makeup so you guys i'm using uh, my makeup rag to just dry the water from it and then i will proceed to lay them out so they could dry air dry all right so you need to ensure that they are dried properly because you don't want any build up of bacteria in them either so it's one thing to get them clean but if they're wet you really need to make sure that they get dried properly so that there is no build up of fungi or bacteria inside of them because that can cause another problem as well for you so you guys this is the final look for these brushes and sponge i'm so excited to share this with you guys um just a little one of the tricks up my sleeve you guys and i hope that you will use this technique at home to clean your brushes as well so this is awesome and i can't wait to share some more of my tips and tricks for just being overall healthy you guys